Well, the Utah Geological Survey is keeping a very close eye on shallow groundwater flooding as we head into the warmer months. Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold shows us how they're mapping those hazards in Utah. As you walk around, you can just see we have the walls torn out. Devin has lived in his home in Draper for the past six years. Water actually wicked up into the sheetrock. Back in January, groundwater flooded his basement, leaving plenty of damage behind. About a 2,000 square foot basement, so 2,000 square feet of carpet has been torn out. And four months later, he's still dealing with the effects from it. We're estimating the cost is going to cost us anywhere from 20,000 plus. The Utah Geological Survey is working on mapping shallow groundwater hazards across the state to determine the likelihood of flooding. This time of year is busy, especially now with the snowpack that we've received. All of this water that's coming down, going into the surface, is creating problems with shallow groundwater for people. Jessica Castleton is a senior geologist with the UGS Geologic Hazards Program. Using this form they have on their website, they are working to compile a public database that will be used in taking steps to safeguard properties during wet periods of time. So far, she says they've got nearly two dozen reports from residents about groundwater flooding in just the past week since it was activated. Those reports, Castleton says, have come from places like Provo, Ogden, here in Draper, and even from areas they don't typically see groundwater flooding take place. Our goal is to get out ahead of development and provide people a resource that they can go to to determine where they would like to build a house. They can see what geologic hazards might be present. You can use the mapping in terms of emergency response, um, look at landslides that are occurring, see if more landsliding is expected in these areas. Well, I did ask Castleton how this tool could be beneficial for current homeowners like here in Draper, who've experienced shallow groundwater flooding in the past. Well, she tells me they can't necessarily prevent the flooding from happening. She's hopeful they can give the residents some good resources to help mitigate the issue so it's not a problem in the future. While Devin waits to fix his basement until the spring runoff is over and done with, he tells Fox 13 News he likes that the Utah Geological Survey is working to address the issue. It makes me hope that we'll be able to get some type of public works project in place to be able to mitigate it so that the homes, the people who live here, which there are a lot of homes in this area, um, can no longer be impacted by situations like this in the future. In Draper, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.